Okay, YouTube, finger has been soaked and uh, patted down with toilet paper, which is, like I said, surgically clean. And I think it's looking all right. So, now, one-handed, we get a piece of toilet paper and we dip it into some 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. And as you can see, that's foaming up. And actually even stinging a little bit, which is good. It should sting. Now I turn that around and use the other end of it, which has not previously touched the wound. Pick up some more peroxide. End of the fire. It's a kind of a modified aseptic dressing technique modified by the exigencies of what I've got available. Now the hydrogen peroxide, it's good for killing bacteria that can't stand oxygen, like Clostridium tetani. So, yeah, that's doing all right. Now what else are we gonna need? We will need a new piece of telfa. Get that out without contaminating the face of it. And we're going to need a new bandage. $5.30 for a crepe bandage. Yeah, you can't say I'm not giving it a good go on and not in the fire with that, that's plastic. If you, uh, if you want to give your grandchildren skin cancer, the way to do it is burn some plastic. Betadine, it's really good stuff. It, uh, it's povidone iodine. Now, I don't mind putting a lot on because it stops bacteria from growing on the finger. And I don't want this finger to get bacteria growing on it. Not if I can help it. Okay. We first anchor the bandage and then we come up around here and without getting any creases on it, which is the tricky bit. don't need a whole lot of pressure. The bandage is more for padding than to prevent blood flow. You don't want to prevent blood flow. You want blood flow. I want blood to get out there and heal the bloody thing. If you'll pardon the pun. No, can't even do that. So I've got a bit of a... Yeah, okay. I'll have a cure for that. Hold that down. 
Okay, now get that little extra bit of padding there on the end of it. First I'll put the lid on the bed I think. If the lid's on the bed I think, then it can't spill. Okay. Uh, now here we go. A little bit of tubey grip. I'll put the tubey grip on the end of the clean bandage and then stick two fingers inside the tubey grip. Do a half turn and then pull the tubey grip over the end. Unroll that down, and that gives you a layer of extra protection against the tip, and that should stop chainsaw dust from getting in there. Because after I finish this cup of coffee, I have to go and take the chainsaw for a walk to make some fuel for the pot belly over there. See, matcha coffee. So. There you go, that's the dressing at 13 days. The finger has not gone rotten, it is not infected. It's not hurting too bad, it's not bleeding. It is healing, yes? And my theory is, if I'd taken that straight to the doctor, 75% of doctors would have looked at it, heard the story and amputated the end joint of the finger. 20% would have cleaned it aggressively and tried to sew the dead meat up, and I reckon being some...